One, light and airy, like sweet as cotton candy, and sweeping like waves. Stinky as a seagull, no, not that part. Ready for your first beach song? The most beachy song ever. So song number one is called Beach Baby by Miracle Fortress. Miracle Fortress is a band from Montreal, and I say it band loosely because Graham Van Pelt is Miracle Fortress. He produces, composes, and performs every part of the song. The songs are super happy and light and frothy. The, the way he writes music is sort of as if Arthur, for example, young hipster dude, um, only played electronic music but was really into the Beach Boys. That's pretty much what you get with Miracle Fortress, and they're the perfect way to begin a beach mixtape. I have the links in the description bar. Go look there, after. After you watch me at the beach. Song number two is as witchy as this wind. <laughs> it's really windy today, called Carolyn's Fingers, and it's our classic song of the week by the Cocteau Twins, who were very popular in the UK in the 80s. The lead singer, Elizabeth Fraser, sings in her own made-up gibberish language, which I think is amazing. A friend of mine actually went and lived in Turkey in her senior year of high school, and when someone played this for her, they told her that they were speaking English, and she thought that she had forgotten how to speak English. I think that's kind of a funny story. Dreamy, wondrous, otherworldly music is what they make. <laughs> this is a real treat, guys. It's not very many people in the States know who they are, and I think that you guys are really gonna like it. And it goes perfectly with the first song. Yay! Song number three is called Drifters by Patrick Watson. Patrick Watson is actually one of my favorite all-time musicians. He has some of my favorite songs ever. He's also a singer-songwriter based out of Montreal, and he's on the same label as Miracle Fortress, which is actually how I found Miracle Fortress. This song is beachy, trippy, and light. You're just like adrift at sea. And his band called the Wooden Arms are equally incredible. They frequently use like wooden spoons and like bicycles to play. His music is the sweepiest music ever. I love sweepy music, and he really knows how to sweep. <laughs> Cosmic Love by Florence and the Machine is our guilty pleasure this week. Not because it's a bad song at all, it's actually an amazing, amazing song, but it's been used in a lot of like movie trailers recently. And I can't stop listening to this album, it's so good. Her voice is so beautiful, and she uses it in such unusual and quirky ways. This wind this actually reminds me of Florence, very powerful. Urgh. Song number five is one of the most beautiful and touching pieces of music I've ever heard. It's by Sigur Ross, so it's in Icelandic. It's called track number one. You can't go any further into like your deep sad mood than this. And then the silly song will come next to give you a little nightcap so that you don't have to go to sleep. also deeply touching. This song is called Deep Sea Diving Suit. I couldn't resist because it's beach. It's funny and silly. Okay guys, there's your mix for today. They are my gift to you. I hope that you like them and I send you fist kisses. Butterfly kisses, cool kisses, sand kisses. Okay, bye guys. You know you can make these and give them out as presents and pretend they're from you if you want. Say I never offered you